everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've last posted, but you know, life and just the fact that YouTube is not my primary source of income or any income for that matter. Uh, you know, it's just not something that I do as often these days. I work full time, um, met someone, so we spend a lot of time together and yeah. Anyway, um, in today's video, I am going to show you a quick and easy uh, flawless skin routine. I like this. I do it every morning. It takes me about 10 or so minutes if I'm not talking through it. So um, with that being said, we're just going to get started. I already have my skincare on, um, shaved all the fuzz off my face this morning before I put my moisturizers and the legs on. Don't mind my allergy sniffles. I don't have the corona or anything like that. Uh, but to start, I'm going to use the Too Faced, uh, what do we call this? Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the color Swan. This is my second tube of it. The first one I received in gratis while I was working for Sephora. Um, this one I just bought a couple months ago. I really love it. It's been one of my favorites. I really don't pick up any other concealers. So we definitely start by putting it generously on the under eye. I don't necessarily have under eye bags, but the darkness is real. And then I also dip in again and just put a little bit on my blemishes that are healing or a lot, whatever. Or blemishes like this one that just cropped up. It's cystic, it's deep, it hurts, and there's no head. And I can't leave my face alone, so it'll probably get worse before it gets better. To blend all of this concealer in, I use the F80 by Sigma. This is my second brush like this, my first one the head fell off after about four years and I was so sad. But I loved it so much I went and bought another one. So I kind of pat or kind of gently uh, work the concealer in. I do move this onto the lid as my primer. It's probably going to mess up the brows that I already put on. I will try and be careful. Um, I just put my brows on earlier just to go out because I think I look a little bit more normal with them. Otherwise, I would usually wait to do my brows until I was done with my base. I know a lot of people don't do that, but it works for me. So... kind of pressing it, moving it. You could certainly use this concealer as a foundation, but there's a method to the madness here and it works. And every time I do my makeup like this, I receive so many compliments. Currently it looks like I was successful in not ruining this left brow. I do suggest patting the concealer in for two reasons, especially in the eye area. One, um, obviously you don't want to tug at the skin if you can help it. And two, um, you know, it'll help maintain that coverage the concealer gives if you're just pressing it rather than swiping and shearing it out. I also take some of that concealer from the brush and put it on my nose just to minimize some of that rosiness. So this is what we're working with so far. It's kind of stark because of what it does to the eye area. But it looks so much better than before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set the under eye area with just the regular translucent powder. I'm using just the Loose Setting Powder in Translucent by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And there's Apparently some Jaclyn Hill stuff mixed in here. I just needed to use this lid the other day because it's bigger than her packaging, but here we are. All right, so I am going to kind of pat out any creasing in the eye area with a Sigma F64. It's a soft blend concealer brush. I think I've had this out for a while. I don't know, you can use this to apply concealer directly to the under eye area. I like to use one brush to apply it and another to pat out the creasing. This will just kind of pick up any of that extra makeup instead of just keep moving it around and leave, you know, strokes and streaks and lines and everything. So back and forth, just patting, no swiping. 
And then with this tiny little uh, like kind of crease brush by BH, I've had it for forever, I pick up some of that powder and I just go back and forth patting it in. And I'm only setting the under eye with that, not really worried about the other areas that I have the concealer. And then I'll repeat the process on each lid because it'll definitely crease on the lid. And again, just a light layer of powder. Don't need an excess amount, we're not baking. And again, just patting. You just want to pat this on and be really, really nice to the skin on the eye area. It's very thin, very delicate. The more you tug at it, the more you encourage premature um, wrinkling and line formation and aging. All right, so now we move on to foundation. It is a foundation, but it is a powder foundation. I'm going to use the Studio Fix Powder Foundation from MAC. This is an NC10. It is my perfect shade. I've hit pan on this. I've hit pan on a lot of them lately, but I really love it. To apply it, I'm going to use this brush by IT. It came loose from the handle and the ferrule, so I taped it. This is their Heavenly Luxe something, probably soft top buffing foundation. It's their number six. I don't know. Got it on QVC with some of their powder foundations. Didn't like their powder foundations, but I love this brush. So I'm just swirling it and picking up a generous amount. And then I am pressing this in first all over, except for the under eye Ooh, and lid. My skin is combination. I get a little oily on my nose and like kind of in our cheek area here. And sometimes on the chin, but my cheeks and forehead hit or miss depending on that time of year. It's April in Minnesota, 60 degrees one day, and the next day it's below freezing and we get snow. I don't recommend using foundation powder to set your under eye. It's just not robust enough to hold your makeup, like liquid makeup in place. It's fine um, to put it over like the concealer on my chin or forehead, simply because those areas, <clears throat> those areas don't have as much movement compared to the eye area of like smiling, squinting, doing all this stuff, constantly blinking. The skin's moving and kind of stretching and contracting. So it needs something more robust like that setting powder. Picking loose hairs off me. Once I have it all over, then I'll gently kind of buff to make sure that there's no buildup. And I still do take it down the neck and a little into the hairline. I have to touch up that brow a little, but that's no big deal. So that's just kind of the base. From here, you can do whatever you like. You can bronze, you can blush, you can highlight. You can leave it alone. I would at least recommend blush. Today, what I'm going to use, I finally managed to put down my Amrezy highlighter. I'm going to use a little throwback. This is a MAC holiday one that came out when I worked for MAC. It's probably expired, but I don't care. I like it. This is from their Nut Nutcracker Sweet Collection. Um, it's their Peach Face Compact, so it came with 22 Extra Dimension Skin Finish and at dusk Extra Dimension Blush. Use what you like. This is what I like. It's worked for me for a long time. I just kind of rotate. And also when I worked for Sephora, I couldn't use it. And so these are the two colors. Blush, we always hit pan on. I think this is an F35. I know it's from Sigma. It's their natural hair that they made a long time ago. I, th I think this is the one from the Jaclyn Hill like brush set that she came out with forever ago. Because I did buy it. I still love Jaclyn Hill. Love her or hate her. I do love her. Do I buy everything she puts out? No, but I enjoy her. So I'm going to put that highlighter on the cheekbone, on the temple a little, kind of on the apple of the cheek. It's subtle right now. 
because powder on powder is gonna look a little lackluster, but stick with me, it gets better. Tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge. I like doing the center of the forehead a little. Cupid's bow and chin. And then with the 168, I believe it's pretty wore off, but yeah, 168 blush brush from MAC. I'm gonna use the blush in this compact as well. And it's a really subtle blush, so I kind of have to work to build it. And I like to work that blush back into that hairline. I don't want to leave a gap. So kind of into the sideburn. All right, so that's the skin. Blush on camera looks a little less than it should be, but in person, it's perfect. So to finish this, because this is the end of the skin, it is that easy and quick and it doesn't take that much time or effort, especially when you're using powder foundation, the blend when you get that type of coverage is outstanding. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So just gonna give this a shake. And also get my little thing ready to fan. Don't have a fancy fan. I have a really old Sephora 20% off thing. I don't even know how old this is. Probably because they mailed it to me when I was still working for them and couldn't use that coupon. So, here we go. Way more than the four spritzes they recommend. And then I fan, I'll either keep my eyes closed or I'll look down and practice my poker face, also known as RBF. So not only is this um, setting everything in place, but it is also melting those powders together and as my natural oils come through, it gets even better. So we'll just touch up these brows. I'm using the number 12 from Anastasia and an eyeshadow single from MAC, I think. If I can get it out of the palette here. Yeah, this is called Copper Plate. They don't make it anymore. It's this amazing, very cool tone gray, but it still turns just the right color when I put it on. I learned about this color from Pixie Woo. I was watching their YouTube channel and I don't remember which of the sisters was using it, but I was like, that's pretty phenomenal. And I got lucky while I was still working at Mac that they hadn't discontinued the shade yet. So I definitely took advantage and acquired it right before it discontinued. Thankfully it doesn't take much. I mean, you can tell there's barely, barely a dent in this pan and it's just the best. It was kind of a chore to put on these brows today because I was trying to do it with way too much moisturizer on my skin and stuff just did not cooperate. And that is it for skin. So it's, you know, nice. Lids are primed. So, you know, if you wanted to do an eye look or just throw on some mascara or liner mascara and false lashes and the lip, we'd be set. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate your support. If you have any requests, if you want to see me do a specific look, certain colors, um, you know, let me know. I would like more reasons to film. Um, so with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.